This is Meng Jun, an intern from Deep Learning Group in IPG. Today, we are going to talk about our project on Evaluate Deep Learning Platforms. So, as deep learning is a very hot topic, and if you search online, you would find over 50 open source toolboxes. And uh, which one is better to use? How good is each of them? That's the question you would ask. To answer this question, we start our project on evaluate deep learning platforms. And so, to s however, this is still a very broad problem. And to narrow down, we start with the speed. That is, how fast is each of them? Uh, the first step would be select a deep learning platform to start with. So we start with Cafe, which is from UC Berkeley, and TensorFlow, developed by Google, and then Metcomnet. Uh, this one is from Oxford University. And the next step, it would be the hardware. So we need the hardware to test on. We, what we did is we built a local server with four GPU cards. We used a GTX 1080 Ti and with 24 CPU cores. So after that, we select to use image classification as the uh, application. So as deep learning had did very good job in image classification, we employed the very famous ImageNet as our testing data. It collects over 1,000 classes of images. And uh, we did the test based on that. Uh, next, we are going to introduce our pipeline. As we know, in deep learning algorithms, there are mainly two uh, processes. The first one would be inference. So in inference, what you have is a trained model. And you input data, you get do the calculation, and you get the results you want. And the pipeline of inference, the first step would be da data preparation. In data preparation, you transform the data from the source format into database that each of the software employed. Like in CAFE, it will employ LevelDB and LMDB. Uh, while in TensorFlow, it would be TF records. After the transformation, we have, we have data loading and data pre-processing. For loading, it is load the data from the, mem uh, from the hard disk to memory. And in the pre-processing, we prepare the data for the network. Uh, for images, it could be resizing and uh, cropping, stuff like that. Then the data is ready to put into the network. We did the forward process. In the forward processing, we put the data in and do the calculation and get the result on the last layer. After that, we collect the data in post preprocessing and transform it into labels that human can recognize. So as in the inference pipeline, uh, the data pre-processing, loading, and uh, post-processing can be customized and optimized. So to test the toolbox performance, we only uh, take the forward time into consideration. And the next part is 
training. In training, we have a model, but it's not uh, well defined, and we need to teach it to do the processing. So in the training pipeline, it also have data preparation, data loading and pre-processing, and forward processing. After the forward process, uh, we have a loss calculation. In the loss calculation, we compare the result of the forward process with the ground truth and calculate the loss. According to the loss, we did back propagation to update all the parameters in the network. And then we go back to load the data and do the pre-processing again and do it, run it iteration by iteration. So as we can see, the data loading and pre-processing uh, is repeating during each iteration. So it's also very time consuming. As a result, in the training, we will take all the time from the data loading, uh, data loading and pre-processing to back propagation into consideration. Okay, that's all about our uh, objects and the settings of how we do, do the evaluation. And uh, thank you for watching. So next week, we are going to present our results.